All right, guys, Jersey Jaguar back at you with another video. And today it is a special request video from Daniel. He saw one of my videos on YouTube and he asked me to do a one in particular. So that is going to be how to fold a Nike NFL Vapor Elite jersey. Now, I already did one on how to fold football jerseys in general. Check it out. This is going to be specifically on Vapor Elite. So, Daniel, I hope you like the video. Alright guys, so the preparation is simple. Always make sure that you're working on a clean and flat surface. Make sure it's clean. You don't want any pet hair or dirt getting onto your jerseys, especially if you're folding them to sell. Alright, so first and foremost, you want to avoid creasing the rear numbers, front numbers, shoulder numbers, and any crests and logos. Alright, so step one is simple. All we're going to do is take the jersey, flip it around so it's back side up. Okay, we are on step number two. Now, most of these steps are going to be the same like the other NFL folding video that I made. With that said, we are going to take the jersey and we're going to fold it to the edge of these rear numbers here. I already did it on the other side. Like so. Do not fold past it and crease those numbers. Do not. Okay, step number three. I'm going to do two different versions for step number three. One with double digit numbers and one with single. For double digit numbers... All we're going to do is take the jersey and make sure that the logos on the jersey and the numbers up on top are flat and not creased like so. Okay, guys, for a single digit number, you're going to have more room to work with. So we're going to fold the jersey over. You're going to leave this side like it is. You're going to take the other side and fold it over like this. So it's equal and even on both sides. Okay, step number four is going to be simple. All we're going to do is we're going to take the bottom of the jersey and fold it up to the edge of the rear numbers right here. If your jersey is extra long, fold it once before and then twice. But for this size 44, we don't got to worry about it. Boom. Always make sure everything is nice and even. Now the second part for four, all we're going to do is we're going to take the jersey on top and fold it over. When you flip it around, you should have something that looks like this. Okay guys, step four for the single digit is going to be the same. We're going to find that rear number. We're going to fold it up, make sure everything's even. Also double check to make sure that that number on the sleeve is creased as low as possible. Take the top, fold it over, flip it around, and we're good to go. Alright guys, so a quick recap. We got the back of the jersey facing up. We're going to take one side of the jersey and fold it over to the edge of the number. If it's a single digit number, you're going to have it like so. If it's a double digit number, you're going to take it and fold the sleeves down. All right. Now you take the other side and do it like you just did the first one. You're going to take the bottom of the jersey, fold it up to the rear back edge of the number, bottom edge of the number, I should say. Take the top of the jersey, fold it down, make sure everything's nice and even. Fold in the tags if need be. Flip it over. And boom. All right, and there you go. As you can see, it is very similar to folding a standard football jersey, and just with a slight variation. Guys, if you enjoyed this video, please give a like and subscribe. If you'd like to see a video in the future, let me know in the comments. I'll do my best to get it done. I'll see you at the next one.